Hello, Luis. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hey, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Pretty good. I'm having, uh, I think I might have some problem with my internet connection because it's pouring here. So I might log off if it's it, it gets like really, really, uh, uh, like uh, storm gets really strong, okay? Uh, no problem. The same here. It's raining very hard also. Cool. Mm -hmm. I think in most of San Salvador it's the same. Luis, how are you? I think Luis is connecting in this moment. Luis? Oh, hi. All right. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Good How evening. are you doing? Oh, the, the, the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um, okay. Remember, um, remember um, the last Saturday, uh, I was at work in the morning until afternoon. Then I, I took a rest during the afternoon. Yesterday is it was a great day because uh, in family we uh, celebrate the, the, the my mother and sorry my mother yes my mother not my mother-in-law my mother they celebrate his uh, a birthday. How old is your mother? Maybe 85 years old. Oh, wow. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. You are lucky. Uh -huh. 85 and, and still good mom. Yeah, he's helping. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. she's helping. Mm -hmm. And all family will celebrate that. That the birthday here in my house. Okay. All, all day, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we, we were very happy with all uh, son, daughter. Um, how do you say nietos, right? Nietos, nephews. Sorry. Huh? Uh, nietos, grandsons. Grandson. Mm -hmm. Grandson, granddaughter, yeah, the family of my mom is, is a bit. Okay, all right, good, that's good to know. I'm glad you had a good weekend. All right, I see, yeah. it's, I see for many people it's raining. I see Omi there. Yeah, it's, it's raining. It's raining. Rain, raining. Yes, and like five minutes ago began raining here, so. I imagine it's going to rain for a while. So right now we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, we are going to start off with our topic on uh, unit four. So unit four, we're looking at this idea of the future perfect. Okay, remember last week we finished off unit three. This week we are in unit four, the future perfect and the future perfect continuous, okay? We're going to watch a small video and then we're going to get started in using it correctly. Future perfect and future perfect continuous. 
use the future perfect to emphasize that something will be completed or achieved by a particular point in the future. By this time next year, your self-confidence will have increased. Use the future perfect continuous to emphasize the duration of an activity in progress at a particular point in the future. By the end of next year, you will have been studying your chosen language for 12 months. Future perfect and future perfect continuous. They express the completion or duration of an action or event at some point in the future. They can be used to talk about an event or action that started in the past, but will not be completed until the future. So what they are saying is this term, the future perfect, or is the idea that the action happens or is completed before the time in the future. This is the important. The action is in the future, but is finished before a specific time or a specific moment in the future, okay? Now, future perfect continuous is the action is not completed and will continue after that time in the future. The future perfect. The future perfect is made up of the simple future of will, plus the present perfect. For example, by this time next year, I will have graduated from school. The future perfect continuous is made up of the simple future of will, plus the present perfect continuous. Example, by this time next year, I will have been studying English for six months. Common time phrases for these sentences, after, by then, before, when, by the time, by tomorrow, by eight o'clock, this year, this month, this week, next year, next month, next week, for five hours, for 10 years, for a few days, for six months. Since morning, since Friday, since 1996. Use these time expressions to write sentences using either future perfect or future perfect continuous. Number one, before this class ends. Number two, in two years time. Number three, by the end of the week. Okay, so one more time, what is the difference? Future perfect is the action finished before time in the future. Future perfect continuous is the action does not finish and is after that. The easy way to think about it is like thinking about events. Example, Christmas, August, the vacation in August. Okay, so what are you going to do before the vacation in August? Ah, this is I will have. I will have booked uh, or I would have made a reservation in a hotel. I will have uh, gone to the movies. I do before the vacation in August, okay? Now, if you do not finish and you are going to continue after the vacation, then it's I will have been. That means that you start but not finish and continue. As an example, with a book, Normally, when you read a book, it takes a long time to read a book. I am going to read a book, but I'm not going to finish in the vacation. So I can say, I will have been reading Stephen King's book. I begin before the vacation, I read in the vacation, and I continue after the vacation. This is the difference, will have and have. It's okay, the difference? Yes. Any questions? Yes. No? In this moment, no questions? Okay. So in this moment, we're going to make our groups and we're going to practice. Imagine what you are going to do before Christmas. Imagine Christmas. What is going to happen before Christmas? Okay. 
let's try together. Give me one sentence, something that is going to be completed before Christmas. Ooh, I don't hear, I don't hear anybody. <laughs> So look in the chat, in the chat is going to help you so you can structure, you can organize. Can I try teacher? Uh-huh, yes. Um, I will have bought the secret Santa's gift. Excellent. Good. It's the same. <laughs> the same idea, I imagine, I imagine. That is correct. That means that you are going to do it before Christmas. That's the idea. Okay. Now, if you are going to continue to do after, after Christmas, maybe you're English. Maybe you're going to continue studying. You're going to continue going to another course. Ah, I will have been studying English for one year, two years. You are going to continue to do, right? Okay. That is the difference. I will have finished. I will have been not finished. Anybody else? It's okay, or you wanna practice? Okay, so let's take a moment. You can use different events. It doesn't have to be Christmas. It can be before August, it can be by the end of the month. It can be by Christmas for the end of the year. But think about different moments and what you do and complete before those moments. Are we ready? Ready. Okay. Let me make a few groups, a little bit of time, and let's try it.
Okay, guys. So how do you feel? Any questions? No, no questions? Okay. All right, now we're gonna try 4.2. 4.2, we're going to practice the same, but now in writing. So we're gonna use the future perfect will have, or we're going to use the future perfect continuous. We'll have been an ing, okay? So we're gonna have a sentence. He'll be going out after a few weeks because he will have been more familiar with the city. We're gonna take this and we're going to make it with a future perfect or future perfect continuous. An example in this case is he'll be going out more after a few weeks because he will be more familiar with the city, okay? So all we're going to do is use the sentence that is given to us a little bit more and give it to the future perfect or future perfect continuous. In this case, it would have been the other way around. I don't know why they have it like this. Mm -hmm. So here we have, by this time tomorrow, John will, whoops, there we go. John will travel for 24 hours. So that means that John is going to travel. He's going to start before and he's going to continue after. What would be a good way to write this? By this time tomorrow, John will have been traveling. Okay. For 24 hours. <laughs> but, I, but I got wrong <laughs> in the platform. <laughs> no, it's probably a, a comma or a period or something like that, because that is the correct structure. A, a double, double space. Or a double space. It could be. It could be. Well, that's the idea. That is what you're going to do with your partners. You're going to take the sentence and the original sentence, and you're going to use the future perfect or future perfect continuous to complete it. Uh, there are five sentences, so it's not going to take us long, only a few minutes. Think with our partners, which is the better? Will have is completed. Will have been is not completed. Any questions before we try it? Oh. No. Please. No? All right.
Okay, you ready to check? Yes. All right, let's try it then. Let's see if we got it together. So number one, we already know we did together. What about number two? What do you think was number two? Number two would be by the end of next week, they will have installed his phone. Then we can call, we can call him, exclamation mark. Correct. Okay, good idea, good idea. All right, what about number three? Anybody trying number three, no? Hey, teacher. Okay. Um, he'll be going out more after a, uh, after a few weeks because he will be more familiar with the city. Okay, so you say it was, he will be more familiar. Okay, all right, we could try. There we go. Number four. Me teacher. <laughs> okay, go. <well. laughs> Studying English for a few months, he will feel more confident about speaking to people. More confident. Okay, all right. And what about the last one? What's number five? Okay, me teach. Okay. By this time next year, comma, he mm -hmm. probably will not have written us many letters, but we will continue to write to him anyway. Okay, hang on. Written us many letters. Yeah. Okay, all right. Pretty good, I didn't write all of it, but that way we can see the ideas, correct. So here we had number one, by this time tomorrow, June will have been, like we said, traveling for 24 hours. Very good. Then number two, we can see, uh, they will have installed, they will have installed. That is the correct answer as well. Here we said he will be more familiar. Here is he will be more familiar is correct. You see, very nice. The rest is the same. Fourth, we said that he will feel more confident. Here we have, he will feel more confident. Correct. And number five, we put, um, what is it? It will not have written us. And here it is, will not have written us many letters. Now, only be careful with your commas, or your periods. As you can see, take a screenshot, that way you have the right answers and you can check, but it's really only the same. Only you need to change the part that we change. The rest of the sentence is the same. It's okay, everybody took the screenshot? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Now we're going to do a listening exercise. The next activity is we're gonna to listen to Andrew, Rachel, Layla. And we're gonna write down who did the things. Who are they talking about for these nine statements? Is it Rachel, Andrew, or Layla? You guys ready? Yes. 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 Before we listen, Let's read the statement so that we know what we are reading. Ivania, can you please read the statements? Okay, number one, felt homesick. Two, went out for afternoon tea. Three, made friends, made friends and tapas restaurants. Four, start feeling confident about her English. Five, ate dinner late at night. 
six sad people talk about themselves too much. Seven, enjoy the old buildings. Eight, watch comedy TV shows. Comedy TV shows. No, no, it was correct. Comedy, comedy. Was comedy. Correct. Okay, yes. comedy TV shows. And I try to talk about herself. Okay, so let's listen and write down. Andrew, Rachel, or Layla. Did Andrew, A, Rachel, R, or Layla, L, do these things? Write the correct letter. One, Andrew. When I was in college, I spent a semester studying in London. And even though we speak the same language, English people and people from the U.S. are very different. I guess I felt that people from the U.S. have a, a bad reputation. Some people think we're loud and that we speak our minds too much. So I tried to listen a bit more and not be so assertive, if that makes sense. I wanted to make a good impression. I suppose I shouldn't have worried about it, but I did. I couldn't help it. I loved the lifestyle there. Going out for afternoon tea was fun, and I really loved the old buildings. I mean, they're really old. We don't have anything that old in the U.S., so that part was pretty amazing. Another thing was the TV. The British have a different sense of humor, very dry. I really like it. Their comedy shows on TV are really funny. I'd have to say my experience was a positive one overall, except for the rainy weather, of course. I had trouble getting used to that. 2. Rachel I Okay, which ones are Andrew? Number two. Number two. Okay. Number seven. seven and eight. Number seven and eight, yes. Okay. All right. Let's listen to Rachel. I lived in Madrid for a whole year. And I have to be honest and say that at first, well, I wasn't very happy. You see, I was homesick. I missed my family, and I just wanted to go home. Part of the problem was my Spanish. I couldn't communicate very well. But I love to eat, and that's what really saved me. You see, once I discovered tapas, oh, <laughs> let me explain, these delicious appetizers you eat. So I made some Spanish friends, and we'd go out for tapas all the time. I got to eat a lot of delicious food, and of course, my Spanish improved dramatically as well. But there was one thing that was difficult to adjust to, and that was that dinner was always served at a late hour. I wasn't used to eating at 11 o'clock at night. 3. Layla I Okay, which ones were Rachel? One. Number one. Number one. Number three. Number three. Number five. Five. Yeah, number five. Okay. Let's listen and make sure that Layla is the last one. I came over to the U.S. from the Middle East. My family opened up a restaurant here. At first, I found it difficult. Everything seemed so different. Just using a payphone, for example, or going to a doctor was so different. I was pretty overwhelmed. And I guess because I wasn't feeling comfortable, I tended to make friends only with people from my country. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me a second. Let's see what happened. Did Andrew A. Three, Layla. I came over to the U.S. from the Middle East. My family opened up a restaurant here. At first, I found it difficult. Everything seemed so different. Just using a payphone, for example, or going to a doctor was so different. I was pretty overwhelmed. And I guess because I wasn't feeling comfortable, 
I tended to make friends only with people from my country. I felt like I was living in a bubble, separated from the rest of the people all around me. But once I started feeling more confident about my English, I started meeting local people. I found them very friendly and open, and it turned out to be very easy to make friends. But there was one thing about people from the U.S. that bothered me at first. I found it hard to get used to the way they talked so much about themselves. It took me a long time to understand that you were supposed to talk about yourself too, because that is how people get to know one another. It's still hard for me to talk a lot about myself, but I'm getting better at it. Okay, so was Leila number four? Number four. Yes. Number, number six. six. In nine. And number nine. Okay. All nine. of the ones that were missing. Great. Exactly. All of our answers are correct. You can see. Great. Any questions for anything? No question. No? No, teacher. Thank okay. you. Great. So now we're going to make partners and we're going to talk about living in another country. Imagine you had the opportunity to go to another country and live. What country would you go to? What do you want to experience or see? And what do you think you will miss about El Salvador. So, what country would you like to go to? What would you like to experience? For example, food, activities, places, or sports. And what do you think you would miss about El Salvador? Okay. It's okay, the questions? Yeah. Okay.
Okay. So tell me, what country would you like to go to? What would you like to experience? What would you miss about El Salvador? Luis wants to um, live or no, uh, New York. He wants to live in New York. He knows a lot about the city, the central part, the city, the, the buildings, everything. And, and he wants to live there. And he knows he's going to miss his family the full, uh, he said the transportation. And I said, I don't think so. <laughs> the, the, the transportation, what, what the transport, the pickups, the what, the, the, uh -huh. I don't know, the what, the, the what, Luis, the what? Public, the public transportation. Uh -huh. <laughs> the public transportation. <laughs> right, the reggaeton music that, uh, uh -huh. that's what he's going to miss. Uh -huh. He's going to miss that. Okay. Well, do you know something that is different in El Salvador in public transportation compared to the U.S. is in El Salvador, the people help you. If they say you have bags or if you have a backpack or something, they say, hey, se lo llevo. They, they take your bags. In the other country, no, the people, ah, you, you are going to steal it or they are, you are a criminal or you are crazy. <laughs> they, yeah, they, they, they help you carry it. the bag, but that you never see it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But in El Salvador, the people know it's okay. It's they normal. understand. I think the Salvadorians, we go to the supermarket or we buy a pizza or we have uh, donuts and we have the box. We see the person, hey, it's okay. I help you with the pizza. I help you with the cake. In the other countries, they don't care. It's your problem. Yes, it's true. I saw a, 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 a woman with with her baby, uh, the Korean the, the stroller? The stroller, uh -huh. And she tried to go down a lot of st uh, stairs, uh, the subway. Mm -hmm. it, no one helped her. Nope. It, it's your problem. Walking, by, oh, obviously I help her. <laughs> and, and, and the woman said, ah, you're going to steal my baby. No, oh. no, she said thank you. Ah, okay, okay. Uh huh. No, because in the other country, they're very crazy. They think that everybody wants to steal their baby or molest or, or do something crazy to them. Okay, anybody else? Go ahead, tell me, tell me. That was Luis. Okay, anybody else? Okay, uh, Kalena said that she lived in Spain for six months, but uh, I remember that Kalena, she liked to live there because the, the, the quality of life is, is pretty, pretty. Um, she loved that, that place and, and she miss uh, old friend. I don't remember. Okay. Kalena, why did you live in Spain? I live in Spain uh, because I, I studied my master MBA. Six months. That's very fast. No, it was a year. I lived six months in US. Ah, in California. California. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking when well, Luis said six months yeah. in, in Spain. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah, yeah, Okay. I lived six months in California, and, and the second time I, I left El Salvador, it's because my, my, my master. But if for the master's, only for the graduation? No, I studied in Barcelona okay. one year. Mm -hmm. One year? Yes, just one year. But that's even one year, that's fast for a master's. Yes. You're yes. very intelligent, Kalena. Ah, thank you. <laughs> in one year. Hey, that's great. Well, it's good you had the opportunity to live in Barcelona. And it's, it's nice. It's nice to go to other places 
And sometimes you see something that you like, you don't, and then you say, ah, in El Salvador, this is good. Or in Spain, why don't they do this? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Tell me about you or about your partner. Well, teacher, in my case, I lived for five years in Honduras, in San Pedro Sula, because I worked in Teletón, uh, San Pedro Sula. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you hear about it. Uh, that is, yeah. Yeah. I, I, it, I, I, like a funter in El Salvador. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And, and, I have a, a very amazing uh, experience because I I really like the beaches there because it's the Atlantic Ocean and the the beaches are are different to El Salvador because they are like a pool and and I love to eat. Uh, Seaf, sea, uh, sea, seafood? seafood, yeah, with coconut. The it, Caribbean, huh? This is yeah, very Caribbean. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, it's very delicious. It was delicious to eat that kind of food, and I remember that I missed. I said, Flore, Marvin, that uh, uh, I. I miss uh, from El Salvador when I live there uh, tortillas, thin, thin tortillas. Because, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, because, no, because they eat tortillas, but they are thin, not like uh, tortillas in El Salvador. <laughs> um, they eat like Mexican yeah. tortillas. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little different. And only that. <laughs> okay, okay. And I visited many places there. Roatan and Tela. Tela, it's wonderful. I love this place. I traveled to, I have a, had a, a trip, a, it's a tour in Tela and they, uh, they, um, I, and I visited with them a very good place. In Tela? Yeah. Okay. Garifu Natur is the, the, the name of the, the place. Okay. And, and now, it was amazing. Now we know we have to visit Tela, huh? Do you visit it? No. Did only, you visit? No, only Roatan. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's Never. beautiful. But maybe the next time I go to Tela and not Rotan. Yeah, Tela is, I love Tela. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They, they have, uh, oh, its place has a beautiful uh, uh, places, issues. Has anybody visited Tela? Kalin, Kalena, only Kalena. I've been in Tela once a, a long time ago, and I and I, I taste of how you say the the soup mm -hmm. with coconut. Spectacular, delicious, <laughs> very, very delicious. And and I thought just one big hotel and. Cabañas, they, they rent a cam, cabin. cabins. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a nice place. They do trencitas. Uh -huh. It's very typical in the Caribbean. They do a lot of those braids. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I try, but they say, no, your hair is too short. You I, say, ah. <laughs> I say, you can do it. You can do it. They say, no, no, no. It's not possible. <laughs> All right, anybody else has lived in another country or would like to live in another country? What country would you like to go to?
No, everybody wants, everybody else wants to live in El Salvador. I like it. I like that you don't want to live El Salvador. You want to stay here. Maybe go to, you know, La Campanera or something, have a house there. Yes. And you say, this is uh, for do me. Do camping in La Campanera. There you go. Exactly, exactly. This is my family here. They, ah, La Campanera, you say. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. La Margarita. <laughs> La Margarita. There you go. There you go. Different places. Okay, guys. Well, it's great. It's great that we're talking about those because tomorrow we're going to be looking at conditionals. Let me share you a little bit so that we have the idea. Can I have a question? Yes. Where is the next level or the next model? Next month. But what is the name? The next month. I think that your next level would be a... Uh, okay, bro. I think it will, you have one of two options. It's either conversation or grammar review. I think those are the two options that you have. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not a, it's not a, a, about the TOEFL or the exam for the, yeah. for the, the level of English, uh, advanced English, when you no. have a, no? No, I don't. There is no TOEFL, I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we continue tomorrow and we look at conditionals tomorrow to try to finish up. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Have a good night. I see good you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.